Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chad Tronic, and I have no idea what I'm about to get into. Uh, this is a video called Fox 29 on the PlayStation Pornable. Uh, I have not watched this as of right now, so if it gets a little inappropriate, I apologize in advance. Is there, is there just an infinite number of these like bizarre news broadcasts? Let's 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 get into this. Are the words PlayStation Portable going to end up on your kids' Christmas list? PSPs are good, clean fun, right? So why are they also known by the name PlayStation Pornable? <laughs> oh my God! Who calls? Who call, wh Who is calling it that? Listen seriously. If you heard anybody ever call the PSP the PlayStation Portable, leave a comment. If you ever heard anybody. If you knew anybody who, who tailored that name for the PSP, let me know. We don't want to spoil anybody's Christmas, but there are hidden dangers parents should be aware of. <laughs> we don't want to spoil anybody's Christmas, but let's just make this outrageous news broadcast that could ruin thousands of children's Christmas wishes. What the frick? gaming devices are all the rage with a generation of teens convincing their parents they're a must-have star wars battlefront 2 that's a good game i don't have a psp but i i'd almost like to get one now just for that game uh not for porn though what what is that <laughs> let's get to this okay let's get to this yet these seemingly harmless devices can do more than play football or race cars Inside is a high-powered computer that, with a Wi-Fi connection, can access the Internet. A parent can watch their child on the Internet in the kitchen, in the living room. But with this, you can take it anywhere. Any device with access to the Internet. Any device. Any device that can connect to Wi-Fi, be, be plugged in to, to, to the Internet. Any device can access pornography if it has access to the internet. So, why single target the PSP? And that opens up Pandora's box. One, two, three, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Holy frick! Open up Pandora's box, looking up things like Ku Klux Klan, Nazis, <laughs> Let's push the outer boundary as far as we can to make uh, a gaming device look like it's straight uh, craft by, crafted by Satan himself. Shall we? Let's push. Let's, let's, just, let's just almost tiptoe over the line for this. <laughs> oh, my God. If it's supposed to be made for kids, you shouldn't be able to get access to this stuff. A Minnesota boy got into trouble when he brought his PlayStation Portable to school. This is an incident that has opened our eyes. On a dare, Jeff Harris showed his friends how his PSP could display pictures of naked women. A whole bunch of pictures went on, and then I turned it off, like, right away. Way to, way to basically ruin this kid's life. <laughs> I mean, this person doesn't represent all gamers. I mean, he messed up. People make mistakes, dude. It happens. I mean, this has to do more with the person than I think it does with the PSP. Why do they tailor this stupid nickname, the PlayStation Portable? This is so dumb. This is the Nintendo DS is for child molesters video all over again. It's that simple. All he did was tap onto the school's wireless internet connection. Oh, it's incredibly easy to find. <laughs> Carl Drott. Internet technology expert says that porn is very easy to find, as he says with a very creepy smile. <laughs> uh, it's just shocking how much is out there. I mean, what what some of the g give us some details, bro. What is some of the most crazy stuff you've seen? Shocking how much is out there. Oh, it's incredibly easy to find. Wanting to cash in on the action, the adult film industry is marketing porn for portables, earning the PSP the nickname PlayStation Pornable. The, the porn industry is targeting portable devices? Well, that's obviously Sony's fault. Obviously. Sony, what the heck, man? What are you doing about this? Come on, bro. Maybe that's why they abandoned uh, the PSP and PS Vita uh, so quick. 
They just they they're just turn they're turning into porn machines. <laughs> but porn isn't the only danger out there. Hatred, violence, and the means to carry out deadly schemes can all be accessed through gaming devices with an internet connection. Come on, dude. People just want to play games. These kids aren't trying to form to become a terrorist organization. They just want to play Star Wars Battlefront. Come on. Come on, Fox News. Frick. But the greatest danger of all may be a child predator posing as another gamer. Pedophiles and people who want to hurt kids have access to them. And they do because this is a communication device. The Computer Crimes Unit of the New Jersey State Police is launching a full-scale assault on pedophiles who are using gaming devices to reach children. <laughs> that is a police officer playing RuneScape on the clock looking for child predators. Yeah, okay. Investigators say most online games have a chat component, and that leaves children vulnerable. What? Oh man, <laughs> this is a this is a prime example, definitely, of a conversation with a sexual predator. Hello, buddy. You a girl? Nothing much. I mean, we we are tiptoeing into into dangerous territory here, guys. As a parent, there are some things you can do to protect your kids. At home, you can limit what comes into your household by setting up parental controls with your internet provider. <laughs> I really like this list on protecting your kids and how the on, on the list, prioritize at the very bottom. Talk to your children, you know, because that that would be probably the hardest one uh, to take on. Uh, set up parental controls, lock your PSP um, with passwords. Um, but at very last... At, at your when only when it comes to to la your very last measures should you ever have to actually talk to your children <laughs> unsuspecting children think they've made a new friend they see no difference between a virtual friend and a real friend so they think that a person that they've been chatting with for 3 weeks is their friend when in fact it's not really another 13 year old girl it's a 52 year old man sitting in his basement somewhere i'm gonna I, I i'm changing my mind on this video if you if you are friends with anybody online they are most likely older men trying to get in your pants okay i'm serious you have there is no such thing as online friends they do not exist they are all sexual predators let your let your windows there is no such thing as a friend on the internet okay i am not your friend i could be trying to, to sexual predator you.